The South Korean Ministry of Defense has unveiled the latest version of its main battle tank K-1A-1, the K-1E-2, signaling a significant upgrade in the nation's armored warfare capabilities. This development marks a pivotal moment in South Korea's military modernization efforts, incorporating advanced technologies derived from the K-2 Black Panther tank. The K-1 main battle tank, developed in the early 1980s and entering service in 1987, stands as a cornerstone of South Korea's armored capabilities, designed to meet the nuanced demands of modern warfare specific to the Korean Peninsula. Since its inception, the K-1 has undergone a series of evolutionary upgrades aimed at enhancing its combat effectiveness, survivability, and technological edge on the battlefield. Featuring a 105mm main gun, advanced fire control systems for enhanced accuracy, and superior mobility to navigate diverse landscapes, the K-1 has been subject to continuous upgrades to maintain its edge on the battlefield. These upgrades include enhanced gunner primary sights, auxiliary power units, and overpressure systems for CBRN protection, incorporating technologies from the advanced K-2 Black Panther to ensure the K-1 remains a formidable asset in modern combat scenarios. The K-1E2 upgrade introduces a suite of enhancements aimed at bolstering the tank's combat effectiveness and survivability on the battlefield. Among the notable improvements are an enhanced gunner primary sight, a new auxiliary power unit, and an advanced overpressure system for chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear protection. These upgrades are indicative of South Korea's commitment to maintaining a cutting-edge armored force capable of addressing a range of modern threats. The South Korean Ministry of Defense has also outlined plans for the further evolution of its tank fleet, with the K-1A3 and K-1E3 upgrades on the horizon. These future iterations are expected to feature a new Korean active protection system and a remote gun system. However, the ministry acknowledges the challenges associated with these advancements, particularly the structural implications of adding extra equipment to the turret. Beyond the increased costs, there is a recognition that such modifications can potentially compromise the integrity of the turret's structure. Despite these challenges, the announcement underscores South Korea's determination to enhance its military capabilities in the face of evolving security dynamics in the region. The upgrade program for the K-1 and K-1E-1 tanks to the K-1E-2 standard is scheduled to commence in two years, offering a pathway to significantly modernize the existing fleet. As South Korea continues to innovate and adapt its armed forces, the K-1E-2 represents a blend of proven platforms with the latest in military technology. This approach not only enhances the country's defensive posture but also positions it as a leader in armored warfare technology in the international arena.